Hello friends, this is Scott, and I'm in my backyard garden looking at these earth boxes. And uh, this is a few days ago I filmed this. This is right before the first frost. So today is pepper day, and we're going to pick all these peppers from the earth boxes, and we're going to make pepper flakes. So here's a close-up. I'm going to show you some of the, the picking process here. But those are some cayennes. Uh, they, they turned out pretty nicely. And I'm, there's a whole mixture of peppers in here. We're just going to pick them, and then we're going to see what kind of mixture, and then we're going to grind them all together and we're going to enjoy them all winter. So that's a, that's the plan for today. Normally I don't always just pull the plants up, uh, but this time of the year and with as many projects as I've got going on, I'm just going to go ahead and start cleaning this yard up. We're going to have some nice days still in the future and I could have got a few more peppers out of here, a little bit more ripening, but there's some green jalapenos. So those will be nice in the, in the mix. They didn't quite have enough time to ripen up into their true red form. I could have covered these up for this first frost and, and would have been okay probably, but again, just have a lot to do and uh, my time is kind of limited this year. I've got to get inside the hobby farmhouse and start working. Look at the root development on that one. That's a, that shows you how those earth boxes work. That's an ahi amarillo, I believe. And uh, that one we picked some peppers earlier in the year and then uh, just didn't have any time to put on any more. So that was a South American pepper that I, that I grew from a seed. So uh, they did grow. Uh, they didn't grow great, but I did get some. Some of these plants, though, didn't do much. There's just a few peppers on them. They got shaded out by the other peppers, but eh, we'll just pick them all. And again, they're nothing fancy. They're all going in the grinder. So, But those are poblanos, I think, but I'm not sure. Sometimes in the immature phase, you can't tell. Now, as you see me throwing things, I'm throwing them to the chickens, uh, which is the coop is just on the other side of, of where I'm chucking there. So you'll see that here in a little bit. But that's the secret to, to a gardening in a small yard with chickens is the chickens are close. And uh, everything that I pull out, or almost everything, goes to the chickens. And I'll smother it all with leaves. There's some more root development. Those earth boxes do wonders. Another ahi amarillo. But I'll give the chickens everything, and then I'll just top everything with leaves or straw or whatever I have, and uh, and then keep throwing scratch in there and let the chickens break it down and, and work on it all winter. Keeps them keeps them happy and keeps them interested in stuff to do. For some red jalapenos that did make it to their final stage, and they're starting to dry up a little bit on the vine, so that's good. Now here's the most productive pepper I had this year. I had a couple of these plants. Nice root development, but these are the Thai chilies. As you see, they're small peppers, but they pack a punch. And uh, they take a little while to harvest, so I'm going to have to sit down in a minute for to harvest those critters. But there's a broke off another, but they're very productive. And uh, they're not going to make a ton of, of chili, but they're going to make it very, very spicy, I think. So we'll, we're, we'll see how that goes. It's a new chili for me this year. And I've always seen them, but I've never grown them because I'm not a huge pepper fan. But uh, we're going to try it, and we're going to see how much heat they add to the, uh, to the mix this year. Here's another cayenne, and these did go red. So they're, uh, they're ready to roll, and they are drying on the plant also. So they're... They were, should have been picked a while ago, I think, but they'll work good today. Now, as like I was saying, I had to get a chair and sit down for this because these, these little peppers, there's God knows how many on this on these plants. So I'm not going to worry too much about getting all the leaves off right now. I'll do that in the house when I'm cleaning them up, but just break them down and, and uh, see how many I got here. As I'm getting to the end here, after picking those Thai chilies, and I'm getting a little frustrated, so I just break them off. And uh, not much on that one. That's another ahi amarillo going to the chickens. And just going to pick the last few remaining peppers on here and, uh, and find a few. You know, I've, I've been harvesting some dirt throughout the year, so there was more peppers on these plants than, than are now. But uh, we did eat some, and we did make some salsas. And, and uh, go back to my salsa recipe. You, you won't be disappointed in a, in a previous video. It's really, really tasty. Now, as I'm getting to the far end of this these earth boxes. I do have more green peppers and some of them have turned red, but they're, we've been picking them all year and we've had quite a few mature green peppers. If they're bad, they go to the chickens, but I've got a few left. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick those and we're gonna freeze those. Uh, they're small, but they'll, they'll be tasty. And peppers do not need to be blanched. They can just be thrown in a freezer bag and thrown in the freezer. So, so they'll, uh, they'll be a nice addition to some future meal uh, when the weather's cold. I'm getting down to the last plants. Uh, there's a few ahi amarillos on here, as you see here. They're small, but uh, they didn't get a chance to ripen on the vine. They get more of an orangish color, but then I have another cayenne, it looks like. 
but they'll, they're still tasty. And uh, again, I'll put all those in the freezer, the bigger peppers, and we'll enjoy them later. I mentioned everything goes to the chickens, and there's not just peppers here, there's a little bit of everything, but uh, I just keep throwing it in. Now I could chop it up smaller, but I'm gonna let the chickens do that for me. And if there's any vining material left in the spring, then I'll, I'll deal with it then. So here we are in the house, and I didn't get a lot of the bigger peppers, but there's enough for a bag, and there's some nice ones in here. And so, again, these are ones that are gonna go right in the freezer, so all I did was rinse them off, fry a little bit so they don't stick together in the freezer bag, and then I just put them in a plastic bag, Ziploc. I used a straw, and I sucked out the air, and uh, there you go, right into the freezer it goes. For all the Thai chilies and the remaining smaller chilies, they all go in the sink, and I'm just giving them a quick wash, and then I will separate all the leaves from the peppers. And uh, that's what they look like after I've separated the tops. I've ripped the tops off, too. Here we go. There's not a ton of peppers here, but there's, there's going to be enough for what we use anyway. Uh, again, we're not a huge spice family, but we, we like to add a little spice to things during the winter season. So after rinsing them off, I just put them in our food dehydrator on the trays. And I like the different colors. As we dry these, they're all gonna, when, I, when I chop them up and mix them together, it's going to make a very attractive uh, spicy pepper mix. So these food dehydrators are very easy to use. You just put them on the trays and set the correct temperature and just let them sit. And it takes a while. You know, these things are not speed machines. But here we go. This is what we ended up with. That's some pretty good looking dried peppers. Next step is just get a food processor that chops and grinds and you add your peppers to this. And uh, one word of caution, as an ex police officer that's been pepper sprayed, it's no fun when you breathe in the pepper fumes. <laughs> and I was definitely sneezing and I was burning in my nose and my throat. So I know these are pretty potent. But uh, as you see, my great talent uh, filming and being able to chop with with one hand. So doing my best to try to get these chopped up. And and I'm not going to just run it for a long time. I'm just going to do it in little spurts so that uh, I don't make it into a powder. I don't want powder. I want uh, just flakes. I could make it into powder. Uh, but then it'd be definitely aerosoled in the air, and I probably wouldn't be able to be in my kitchen for the next few days. So, But uh, good-looking stuff. i got to do a little more grinding. But uh, here it looks, the final phase. And here it is. So that's some pretty good-looking pepper. I'll just put it in an old jar, an old spice jar, and label it, and we're good to go. So that's all it takes. You know, I've heard other people that they, they dry them in the basement, and then they smash them, and, and I've had feedback like that, and that works great too. But it's a lot simpler just throw them in a food dehydrator or throw them in the freezer to preserve them and uh, just have them all winter long and again just a little bit you know when they're when they're flaked up like this you don't need a lot in a recipe so don't overdo it but uh, they're very definitely tasty and uh, it's well worth the effort just to grow a, a in a small space grow enough peppers to keep your family in spice for the for the entire year so anyway thanks for watching this video and if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel like share and comment as i'd love to hear from you thank you